Hey guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I wanted to show you a friendship Bible that I'm working on. I should say I'm done working on. And I guess I'll start off by saying that I am actually in my bedroom. <laughs> I grabbed the pillow to put the Bible on. It was a little noisy in the rest of my house, so I said, ah, we'll just do the video in here today. Okay, so this is a friendship Bible that I am going to pass on. And I wanted to show this to you because these are works in progress, so they don't have to be perfect. And so if you're doing the friendship Bibles, then um, just be aware that, you know, because they're like Bible journaling that you share with friends. So I wrote here the instructions, which is basically um, you Bible study, you do your art, and then you share with a friend. Pretty much basic. So you work on a Bible, or you, if you don't want to work on Bibles, you can work in notebooks. And just leave like your notes, your art, and then when you're done, you pass it on. And it also gives people a chance, like some of these Bibles were Bibles that were taken apart. And it gives people a chance to look at some other versions too that they may not have ever read. So anyway, it starts off with the instructions and you can work on multiple ones at once or just whatever makes you happy. So I have a little happy birthday card in case it's somebody's birthday and I have some notes the artwork does not have to be perfect because somebody else might work on it and make your artwork look really nice. Some people are very talented. They can change things up. You can write your notes. Other people can add to your notes. This is the Reflection Bible. I have like in here coloring pages. So one way to get better at your art is you can um, take coloring books, um, adult coloring books, and just practice drawing and you can get a little bit better if you do it every day. I had a graphic artist tell me about that. So I thought, oh, that's a great idea. So just, um, this is a really older Bible that I was drawing in and, um, but I said, hey, let's turn it into a friendship Bible and uh, pass it on. So these are just some pictures. So somebody else, like I said, they can come through, they can look at my pictures, they can read the notes that I've written, they can add to it, they can write any questions, they can put post-it notes in, they can put a piece of scroll paper and uh, tape it in or glue it in and have their notes on top of my notes. And uh, just something here about John the Baptist, that little shiny things I glued and I learned to tape them because they do fall out <laughs> so I had like these little things all over the house just uh and same with glitter at one point my husband's like no more glitter in the house it was just like everywhere maybe I should say outside or inside at one point <laughs> um there's a sign of Jonah here's a guy I tried to draw him from a coloring book didn't exactly turned out so I changed him up and uh it's just fun to, you know, you can sticker, you can paint. But the fun thing is the next person that can that's going to get the Bible, they can work on it and then write their notes, read through what they want to read through, and then uh, pass it on. It's, like I said, it's Bible journaling together. So it's a lot of fun. You can have your church do it, or you can uh, just do it with your friends. This is great for people, like maybe they're having anxiety or Maybe they're uh, senior citizens or students. Anybody can, you know, anybody, you know, like maybe college students and stuff. Anybody that uh, loves to, you know, Bible journal and then you could trade with your friends. Or um, like I, what I do is I have like a stack of, just a big stack of them. And I work through them all the time. And then when I feel like I've come to a point where I want to pass it on, I just pass it on. So you could get really nice ribbon. And this is actually not the cover for this Bible. This is an older cover, but maybe someone's never heard of the Living Bible. They could say, oh, I'm going to get that one because Bible Hub, Bible Gateway, and Blue Bible are places online you can read Bibles for free. Or maybe you can buy one, too, if you want to buy one. And I love this hobby because you don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to buy all the Bibles. And if you're like me, once I read through a Bible, and I have my King James and my Amplified, I'll keep those forever. But the other Bibles I have, I'll read through. And rather than have them set on my shelf, I'm going to put the, make them into a friendship Bible. I don't, I'm, those I'm going to try to keep whole. I try to keep Bibles whole if I can, but sometimes you just, there's reasons that maybe you make them smaller. So, uh, 
there's some notes on Ephesians, and here I have Bible notes. Make an envelope, everyone can add their notes to it. They've got some pages other people can do art in. So, like, when you do your Bible journals and Bible that you're working on, you know, if you if you if if there's space, some Bibles don't have space, like, example, um, I think, Okay, well, this one is not one of them. Some of them I had multiple Bibles in the Bible, uh, in the Friendship Bible. And some of them don't have space, but you can put paper in and stuff and, and uh, envelopes for notes and stuff. But somebody else, like I said, they have these pages that can color and do what they want to do. As long as you can read the words, that's what I say. The main emphasis is getting that word in you. And so, you know, as you're reading... You can reward yourself in some ways by making a page, or you can reward yourself by doing a page and then reading the word. I mean, reading the word is the reward, really. I mean, that's what you want to do. You, I, the emphasis is to get the word in you, not to do the art. But you can doodle, you can do things like that. So you just really want to, you know, learn the word. And I think this, the journaling in your Bible really helps people to, come to the word more to get in the word more to you know as you're doodling and stuff you can pray and think about what you wrote and um and there's lots of ways you can use the journals there's lots of different study methods and things like that so i you know keep it simple basically um read the word make your notes do the art and then share with a friend any other study method, that's up to you. I have little methods that I might share with you, but that's not necessarily what you have to do. I mean, you might read one verse a day. And I want to emphasize this, too, that anytime you get a Bible a, a Bible journal or a friendship Bible, I should say, or friendship Bible notebook, um, that I always say you can keep anything or all of it. It's up to you because that way it's kind of like getting the word out there so people can read and study and it's just a great evangelism tool as well if you have a church group and a group of ladies can get together and they can all get some dollar notebooks at the dollar store and then work on them and use their bibles if they have old bibles they can um take the old bibles off their shelves and donate them to be friendship bibles ask the churches to donate bibles to be friendship bibles and then give them to people and invite them to church to the art journaling class you know and have somebody, you know, share the word and just a fun way to learn from each other. Then everyone go home with a notebook and an extra to give to a friend to come to the next service, right? Or the next uh, class. So it's just a great way. And then some people that maybe they're shut in or they're at home or they can't get to church. I mean, what a nice thing to give them a little stack of these to work with and then come visit them and trade back and forth. Just, you know, it's a wonderful hobby. I love it. And anybody can do it. You don't have to be a perfect perfect artist. Sometimes I'll put like art tips in some of them. I'll give little tips like write with calligraphy pens that makes your writing look nicer. Or you can get all the free Bibles here at Bible Hub or, you know, that type of thing. You know, put little coloring pages, little notes. And, um, you know, you use what you have. Somebody gave me a little gift box and I pasted that in there. It doesn't have to be an expensive hobby. Some people have all kinds of tools that they use or you can just use what you get you know you have fabric you can paste in and somebody else can decorate it doesn't have to be an expensive hobby and uh, you if you don't want to draw put stickers in if you don't want to do stickers just write notes if you want to just do art just do art there's no rhyme or reason but the main thing is to read the word and to pray look at them and the cutest little sticker and then somebody else can come along they can put some more pages in here if it gets too big they can rebind it but anyway that's just a little this one here i'm gonna getting ready to uh give away and hopefully the next person will be a better artist than me but uh it's just fun i like it because you don't have to be super super skilled and you learn you learn from other people you know like if you put cards in them people can practice drawing the cards you know, practice drawing, or they could use tracing paper, and, you know, it's just fun, and to get started, it's so easy, all you got to do is go to the dollar store, get, like, 10 notebooks, and, you know, for a dollar each, or two, or three, or one, and, uh, you don't even have to have a Bible, you can go to Bible Hub, Blue Bible, or whatever, and 
uh, or gateway and make notes and uh, if you want multiple versions to work from you can do that too and then uh, just get started and then uh, you know like I said just start trading with people you know and after a while everybody will be doing it right <laughs> just have fun and like I said the main thing is to get that word in you you know every day because you know and I and I like to share something from the word when I talk to you guys you know we're supposed to make disciples um, a happy church is a church that gets people you know people are accepting Christ all the time and a happy life is the same way but even beyond converting people, we are to be making disciples. We're to be helping other people to grow in their faith. And there's so many people today that have never read their Bible through. They don't know, you know, I could say Bible illiterate and prayerlessness. And, and that's not like a bad, like it's not a good thing, but that's not like a slam towards anyone. It's just a society that we live in. But you can make a difference. It only takes 80 hours to read your entire Bible. So just, you know, every day, just, you know, pick section just pick through it until you're done and it doesn't take long and if you're working on art in it it makes it faster and you come to your bible and it just I don't know I think too sometimes the picture says a thousand words sometimes when I'm working on something I'll decide to draw it out and I'll tell you it really um, helps me to understand the word more and so if you are a diligent student of the bible and you're always studying and maybe read through your bible a thousand times try drawing out some of the pictures of things that you see and see what that does for your faith I mean it's just a really great tool and um and it kind of like it doesn't matter how much you read it's the intimate time like you might spend all weekend with your husband but if you don't have that one moment where you look at him and give him a big hug and say you know we love each other you you know that's that's basically you know get that relationship with the Lord and if you don't have a relationship with the Lord, let's do this right now. Um, I will pray with you. Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask, Lord, that anybody here that wants a relationship with you, Lord, that um, they would just pray this prayer with me right now. Um, dear Father, please forgive me for all the wrongs I've done in my life. Please come into my life and be my best friend and the person I turn to for everything. Just work in my life and help me. Help me not to just hear your word, but to do what it says and to be a real believer, a, a true Christian, especially in the times that we're living. Teach me to be a true Christian. Holy Spirit, just work in my life. And I pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so with that, I mean, if you have fallen away from Christ, if you haven't been doing all the things, ask God to forgive you and uh, just start doing things from this day forth. And whether you read one verse or you read tons of the Bible, you and the Lord work that out between you. And uh, I just want to encourage us. So anyway, get into the hobby. And like I said, go to the dollar store today if you can or this week and pick up some notebooks if you don't want to go to the dollar store, look around your house, see what you got, clear off your shelves from any old Bibles that you're done reading, and you want to donate to help other people, you know, decorate them, make them nice, turn them into friendship Bibles, turn a little, make a little intro in the front, you know, basically Bible study art, share with a friend, and, uh, you know, help spread the, spread the word and grow in your faith. In Jesus' name, it's going to be a good day for all of us, right? <laughs> okay, guys, have a great day. Um, remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. This is Ruthie Popel with the Popel Backyard Farm. God bless.